How's it going guys? So I want to do a short little uh, knife review. Um, this is a knife that's, I mean, there's plenty of reviews out there, um, but I wanted to go ahead and give my thoughts on it because it was a knife brand that uh, I nev I've never really used, uh, never really had. Always wanted, but never really had. Um, so today we're going to be reviewing the Piranha P1 or the Piranha Pocket Model. Check that thing out. This thing is absolutely sick. Um, I've gotten some uh, good use on it. Um, I've had it for a few weeks, and so I wanted to give my thoughts on it. Um, I did add this lanyard, so if you guys don't know about this knife, they don't come uh, with the lanyard. I added that with the little skull bead, because I thought that was cool. Um, you can probably see... It'll focus. Focus. Okay. There we go. Oh, come on. You know you want to focus. Sorry guys, you might be able to see a little bit of damage there near the end. Um, I dropped this in the parking lot at work, and so um, it did get a little damage on it. But a little bit about this knife, set that there. Here is the uh, packaging it comes with. So it comes with a, a nice uh, box, Piranha USA. It actually has their uh, logo for their um, OTFs so on it, which is pretty cool. Inside. You're going to get uh, some literature here. Um, and it's basically just about your Piranha Pocket model. It tells you a lot um, about it. So the blade, as you can see right there, is 3.2 inches long, um, 154 cm. It's uh, 0 0.09 uh, in thickness, I guess. I don't, I'm not really sure if that's uh, 0 0.09 of an inch or what. Um, but that's uh, your thickness on there. Um, you can see the aircraft um aluminum hang on make sure make sure yep it flew it is aircraft aluminum um sorry guys I had to put that in there that's a little bit of marketing um you see there uh, on the back you've got the titanium pocket clip um it weighs 2.4 ounces overall which is awesome stainless steel pins and screws um it does have the hidden uh, pivot points you can't see that um you can see all your different colors that you can get um i went with red um they used to have a bunch of different colors but uh they've slimmed down their line i guess uh for the piranha and if you guys want to there we go you can see all that if you want to you can pause that and read that and i'll tell you all about that um it does say on there you do you do get a uh, lifetime warranty with these knives a limited lifetime warranty obviously if you you know use it like a i don't know a hammer you're probably not going to get your warranty whenever it breaks um also you get uh, this little little bag you put your knife in i've got it folded up um has that really cool piranha logo on there again um you know, so really, really good. I actually got this knife at um, uh, bladeops.com instead of Blade HQ. Um, man, awesome. They had a really good uh, promo code going on Piranha Knives at the time. Um, I believe it was 15% off or something like that on all Piranhas. And I thought, man, you know what? This is the time to uh, pull the trigger on this. So as you can see, guys, look at that blade right there. Oh, there I am. Hello. Um, absolutely just mirror polish on that blade right there. You can see my phone there in the background. <laughs> mirror polish on that. Um, super, super nice. Um, of course, you know, you're going to have some people that are going to say, oh, well, that's going to scratch, you know, all that stuff. How much really hard use are you doing on an automatic like this? Probably not a whole, whole lot. Um, for me, it's more or less, it's it's almost like jewelry in your pocket, you know. It's super, super nice. You just want to have it and play with it when you're at work or when you're out with whoever, you know, you need something to fizz around with. Boom, you have your automatic knife. You can sit there and open it. And I'm telling you guys, this, this spring on this thing, uh, I mean, I wish you could see that. It is very strong and snappy. Um... If you ask me, I think piranhas are even more snappy than Protex. That's not a popular opinion, uh, but I think they're they're more snappy, uh, at least in my experience. Um, you know, as an EDC blade, um, you could definitely EDC this. It is going to get scratched, you know, as, as a really nice uh, finish on it like that. It is going to get scratched. 
Um, some people say, well, then go with the black blade. And you can. You can go with a black blade like that. However, that black is going to scratch off too. So I'm never really one for black coatings. Um, I have a few knives with them, but um, and I, I pretty much now I steer clear. Um, in the hand, this thing feels great. I mean, you can see you've got that you got that finger choil right here, and your index finger just goes right down in there. Your thumb rides on top. It has a really good feel. Now, if you have some big hands, and I don't really have very big hands, um, but if you have really big hands, your hands probably won't fit because you're going to be like your pinky's going to be like right here. And you're going to be gripping down on that, and that's going to be a hot spot for you. Um, but for me, that's absolutely perfect. Awesome knife. Um, you can see the little um, firing button. If we're going to focus, there we go. The little firing button's got some uh, machine work done to it. Um, the uh, little piranha logo, you got to love that. Um, little fish, just as I start talking about it, and decides it doesn't want to focus. There we go. Um, you can see, really, really cool, angry piranha, got piranha on here, doesn't have anything on the blade, um, if you look at it, it's completely sterile, nothing on that, that blade at all, except for a giant fingerprint right there, um, back side, that pocket clip again, titanium stone wash, kind of wish, um, in a way that it was this, uh, you know, polished, and other parts of me is like, no, you don't want that, because it's going to get scratched up. Um, that's going to, you know, bang up against things and stuff, and you don't really want that getting scratched up. So you want it scratched up from the factory, cause, and we're going to call it Stonewash. Um, but yeah, you can see the got your Torx bits here, holding it together. Um, you don't actually have to take the pocket clip off if you want to take this knife apart. Um, it's super simple on the inside. I know you can't see the pivot, but basically it's just a uh, little steel... Um, cylinder in here and the spring is wrapped around that and hooked onto the blade um, as a result of it just being a pin and not being a screw you do have the tiniest bit of side to side wiggle it is very minuscule i don't know if you can you can't even see that on camera uh, there's absolutely no up and down it is solid up and down so um you know, some people will say, oh, there's blade play, I don't want that. It's really not that much blade play. And if you have, you know, out the front automatics, guess what? You have a crap load of blade play that is part of the automatic game um, for some of them. For some of them. Not all of them, but some of them. Now, this guy normally um, goes for like... Um, I believe about $115, um, depends on where you look. Um, Blade HQ, they're running about $115. Um, Blade Ops, I believe, um, about $115. Pretty much everywhere, you're going to be $115 or more. Um, like I said, I got a coupon code and got this guy for about $100 shipped, um, which was awesome. Definitely go to uh, Blade Ops and check that out. If I, I believe it was Sharp 15 uh, all capitals, I believe is what it was. Um, and that's how I got that uh, percentage off there. Obviously, I'm not in the same state as uh, Blade Ops, so I didn't have to worry about sales tax, uh, which was nice. Um, but yeah, guys, the Piranha P1, definitely give Piranha a try if you've not um, got to mess with these. Just pick one up and just fire it and take a look at that awesome shiny blade. Maybe shine some of your family members with the sun in the, in the face with it. Um, but yeah, guys, um, I'm going to have uh, another knife review coming out pretty soon. Um, I may film it right after this one. I don't know. This has definitely put me in a better mood than I was when I was uh, filming that Viper Tech knife. So, But anyway, guys, I'll leave you with that. Nice click. One more. One more for you. Anyway, guys, I hope you have a good day, and we'll see you next time.